Hey y'all, what's up? All right, let's get into the next one. And this is about the live podcast being rescheduled. So listen, everything I'm saying in this video is in my opinion. I'm not making any kind of claim or rendering any judgment. I'm merely reporting my opinions of the situation. The Copyright Act of 1976, Section 107, allows fair use of this topic I'm about to discuss in my commentary. Okay, so Carlos did a video today and had to do with Mia. She's been moved to first chair for Real Housewives of Potomac. I don't watch that, but yeah. So, Carlos says he's taking his podcast on the road and he'll have more info next week. Now, did I tell y'all that after hearing folks saying, what happened to the podcast? Where's the podcast? I thought it was going to be a tour. That he was going to pop up with something. And sure enough, he popped up. And he said that he's going to have more details next week on his live podcast tour. So, the details will be about the live podcast tour. Now, as it relates to his first stop with Mel and him going you know, on his rant when him and Dr. Heavenly were doing a Messy Monday review and she asked him about you know, the channels being struck and about the podcast and things like that. He said, quote, I recorded it because I was going to drop it on my YouTube channel. Unfortunately, a few people uploaded my paid for podcast on their channels. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, Dr. Heavily says, before you could drop it, to which Carlos responds, quote, before I could drop it, when I drop my podcast interviews on Tuesday, everyone takes it. Everyone takes it. And I don't care. It helps me promote it. So, what happened was, we saw a few people who uploaded my entire podcast interview and I'm going to upload it. I'm actually going to upload it next Tuesday. End quote. But now he's saying, quote, The gag is the premiere episode of Huntsville is about the podcast. So then I, I was like, I'm going to get in trouble by the network if I release my podcast before the premiere because it reveals what's happening in the premiere episode. So, unfortunately, I have to wait. Look, I'm going to do this. Okay, big announcement now. I will drop my live podcast interview that I have with Dr. Melody Sheree Rogers the night of the season premiere of Huntsville. And no, I'm not going to tell y'all the premiere day because I'm not about to get in trouble. See, I know how to act, okay? In the premiere episode, you're going to see some of the podcasts and you're going to gag. So after Huntsville comes off at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern, I am going to drop the full podcast, part one, because there's two parts, because my podcast, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give it away. Y'all got to wait. I don't like getting in trouble. The network will be like, you just gave away the premiere, Carlos. Why would people watch it? So y'all going to get it then. End quote. Hmm. So now it's he's going to get in trouble if he drops the podcast before the premiere. But to me, it's pretty convenient to make the podcast a part of the premiere, Mr. Executive Producer. That's the easiest way to add on to why you just had no choice but to strike channels. Because now it's sounding like, and this is to me, my opinion that you may have made a phone call to the higher ups to strike channels since some of the strikes did come from discovery and maybe a little birdie said that there are videos on youtube with the podcast that was going to be on the show allegedly but that's how it sounds to me you just didn't think that you'd be outed as a channel striker as well so now to say it's going to be a part of the premiere episode. That's really crafty. So now it has switched to it being, being played after the season 7 episode 1. Hmm. Then you said if you did post it. The network would be like 
You just gave it away, Carlos. Why would people watch it? Hear me and hear me good. And this is for the millimeters and those who prefer to be called male supporters. In my humble opinion, I feel like they were betting on folks not watching that podcast. He didn't say that for nothing. So if we don't show up for that podcast that's going to play after the first episode, they going to blame Mel and the Melamitas. And the conversation would have been very similar to what Carlos said. For instance, it may go a little something like, well, Melody, why would people watch it if it has already been all over the Internet? The numbers dropped because the podcast was already all over the Internet. So why would somebody want to come back to watch it? I mean, I know they didn't show it, but you can still hear what was being said. So maybe if people hadn't done that, we wouldn't be in this position. Uh, yeah, like I told y'all before, sometimes in life, you got to move like a crook move. You got to think like a crook think. You just have to. He's very crafty. He's really good at using the right tone, the right facial expressions, acting oblivious, having his convenient aha moments. He been in this game for a minute. He know how to code switch. He know what he needs to say. He know what he needs to conflate information. He know how to use the right words, make it sound good, put a little laugh here, frown your face there. He know what he's doing. He good. You can't take that away from him. He good. Just like with the situation when he was talking about when Dr. Heaven asked him why people calling it Espo and they saying that you got me on it and this and that. And he was like, oh, those just people that don't like the Scots. And if you don't like them, that's okay. But karma going to get you because you shouldn't be calling businesses and contacting people and making them lose jobs. And when he said that due to the fact that he was talking about the Scots at that time, it was easy to assume that he could possibly been talking about when folks called the police about the Scots having the casino night. And then at the same time, it was easy to think, oh, well, maybe he's talking about Stormy when she said people were calling Walmart and Target. That was easy. It was easy to feel like that's what he was talking about. But then when the information dropped about Martell getting kicked off the epitome of a woman, what, event, comfort, whatever it was, then you go back and you think about it. It's like, wait, was he talking about Martell? Like, so he was talking about Martell when he said calling people and making folks lose jobs. That's like, okay, you always worried about the aggressor, but you never worried about the victim. Now, for me, I didn't care if that mind was going to be on that uh, event, conference, whatever it was. I did not care because I wasn't going. <laughs> it, if those women want to go and see that man, go. Because we have to understand. I know that a lot of people be like, well, why can't the women be like the men? The men going to stick together all the time. Why can't we just be like that? We are like that. You have a group of men who don't mess with F boys. And then you have a group of F boys that stick up for each other. Just like you have a group of women who don't mess with F boys or F girls. And then the group that do. They hang with each other. So why would you want to enter what is a co-mingle the two? Because you know as a woman, that type of woman, like the lady at the conference, or maybe like a Kimmy, or maybe like an AC, you would never be in fellowship with that type of woman. You would never hang out with that type of woman. So instead of being like, why all ain't no all of us? Just stick with the group. That, you know, represents the same thing that you represent. 
then you won't be getting frustrated and stressed out wondering why this woman won't do let them stay over there where they at and do what they do because as long as there are women on this earth martel will never be without a woman because there is always one who gonna feel like she can change him there was a woman in the comments on the video who said that only thing she need to do is get with him and he'll change and she wouldn't care what he do because he looks so good in a suit it will always be women out there like that so what you have to do is just stay away from the women let them do them over there and let us do us over here that's it because just like it's women like that we do have people like Carlos who is always quiet when he needs to be loud and loud when he needs to be quiet. But so far when it comes to the live podcast with Mel, now it's going to drop on after the first episode for season seven and some of it is going to be on the first episode of season seven so when he said and i was going to drop it on my podcast next tuesday you said that to cover your butt for striking the folks channels in my opinion but yeah well there you go as it relates to the podcast with melody sheree and if any of you are planning on attending any of his other live podcasts on this tour he said that he will announce more next week okay and please like share subscribe when you share the video you know it pushes it out to other people who may like this you know type of information the type of videos we be posting the type of conversations we be having and i see a lot of y'all keep coming back but you're not subscribing just go ahead and subscribe if a video come across that you don't want to see you just, hey but as long as you subscribe you, may, you never know you may like it but i'll talk to y'all later